Welcome to this Windows channel and this is the Tech News Update. We are Monday, October the 23rd, 2017. And today in our Tech News Update, we have General Electric that, uh, like Delta uh, Airlines, is actually starting a partnership with Apple Computers. So what's happening? Well, they're going to actually deploy iOS tablets and phones or devices to employees at work and will also help its 330,000 employees move from PC to Mac. So this is an interesting move and uh, you know sometimes these moves I'm not sure are necessarily the best thing ever but uh, G wants people to move to Apple stuff. Windows 10 Fall Careers Update will have one week tomorrow. It was released last Tuesday. Now it has a little bit of issues, not a lot, but one of the major ones, the ones that really plague uh, quite a good number of users, is missing apps. And it varies. Some people have only one or two apps missing. Some people have just no apps at all. Now, I've posted a couple of videos on the channel to show you how to fix this issue on your machine and uh, of course hopefully uh, there will be a fix. Microsoft did say that they will release a cumulative update that will actually fix this eventually so uh, you can also wait it out if it's not that much of an issue but uh, do take a look at my two videos that I've posted. Well major issues maybe for the Google Pixel 2 phones. They've been announced only two weeks ago there's not a lot of them yet on the market but there are tons of people reporting that the screen is burning out and also that it has a weird washout of screen that is not really beautiful so it seems to be a widespread problem and it's scary because I mean this thing hasn't really rolled out to a lot of people yet and already tons of report of bad problems so uh, you might want to think again about the Pixel 2 phone well, Microsoft and Nokia are teaming up. Yeah, it sounds strange after the fact that you understand that Microsoft bought Nokia, but they are teaming up in an interesting test. What they are actually doing in Sweden is helping to communicate with Syrian refugees by actually bringing real-time translation services. So this is a test that they are doing and that might actually be implemented at a much bigger scale eventually. I mean, real-time translations would be amazing. Well, the uh, Department of Home Security and also the FBI are warning that more and more they are seeing and hearing about threats to the energy infrastructure in the United States and that they are vulnerable to cyber attacks as are many government websites and they say that it's not something that is um, not you know in the f like a, a far future from now but it's something that's already happening there's already intrusions trying to kind of see how the defenses are made and they say that a major attack will eventually happen and uh, finally in our bits of news we have a interesting uh, no not finally this uh, there's still another news item afterward um, there's a basically a gang of hackers that are actually um, trying to simply hack or attack and target security researchers what do you do they send them a document in attachment and they say that they are invited to a cyber security conference now I hope that this doesn't prove that security researchers will do what they tell everybody not to do, open attachments of unknown origin, but it seems that it's a widespread issue going on right now. Well, spying on employees is always, you know, a little something and it's it's getting, you know, bigger and bigger all the time with the technologies, employees using computers, going on email. Well, in the United States, they are actually looking at making new regulations for, um, you know, basically companies and bosses that are trying to uh, check out what employees are doing on their computers when they work. There's new uh, European Union rules now that say that companies can spy on the employees, but they have to tell them. And of course, in the United States, there's that kind of rule that also wants to prevail. 
And in a survey, apparently more than 70% of companies and bosses actually spy on user emails in the enterprise. And finally, we have uh, backward compatibility. Tomorrow, Tuesday, there will finally be original Xbox game backwards compatibility coming to the Xbox One, uh, apparently. So this is going to continue in, you know, having more and more backward compatible with the original uh, Xbox games. So this was the Tech News Update for October 23rd, 2017. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you so much for following us on this channel.